Coming in hot. Coming in hot. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Burn Down YouTube channel. And I could not be more excited to add another speaker to the mix of my entire Kicker Performance Audio install that we did here on the Twinnebago. So, um, a bit of a backstory if you've not seen the videos or you're not familiar with it, I installed a complete Kicker Audio system here in the Twinnebago, which is a 1972 Winnebago Indian. It's 22 feet long, it's a motorhome, and she bad. It's a Twin Turbo LS fun deal. Well, the sound quality here did not match the exterior and the rest of the build and I reached out to Kicker and they came through in a big way for me. So what I did is I went with the Kicker comp line of components, amps and a subwoofer to really put their value line to the test because I feel like a lot of you guys that watch this channel, you're DIY budget friendly, you know, budget minded guys and if you had something you wanted to outfit like an older car where you needed multiple speakers not just like a set you know, if you needed a set, you might be willing to spend a little bit more, like if you're upgrading your truck or your car or something like that, like in a daily. But in an older vehicle, typically you kind of need all of it, right? Well, then that's where the value line would come in because you need multiple speakers. You might need that sub and you might need an amp on top of that or two amps. Well, it starts adding up, even though it is a value line, there's multiple pieces to the puzzle and you know, it can get pricey. I mean, I understand this just as well as you guys do. So. I've got a big motorhome, big space here. I wanted to outfit it with a bunch of speakers and I figured if we're going to go big, you know, if you want to, we're going to do it, we got to go big. So I kind of had my initial order planned out and then I'm like, you know what, we'll add a couple more speakers. So I did that and then I was like, well, we might as well add a few more. So I have um, eight component speakers in here and then one subwoofer and I kept adding component speakers, but it never occurred to me that I might need the low end to keep up with the mids and highs considering we have quite a bit of um, vocal speakers in this thing at this point, right? After a few days of testing, this thing I will say, my honest opinion, I'm not trying to sell this stuff, right? Um, they are helping me out. Uh, I am new to the Kicker brand. They are new to burn down and to helping me. So this is one of those relationships where you're, you're getting it off to either a good start or not such a good start. Um, I feel like my integrity and honesty and my reputation is worth a lot more than a set of speakers. Uh, I worked hard to build my YouTube and to have people follow along and to not be full of crap. So when I say stuff, people actually take my words at face value. So my integrity is very important. So just so we're all clear here that this isn't some paid gig and I'm out here just shilling this because, you know, I think that I'm going to get somewhere with Kicker. With that being said, I am so freaking impressed. I know I just 180'd on you, but I am so impressed um, that I've been listening to it and tweaking and tuning it. I'm waiting for a DD1, which is like this distortion detector that I went out on a limb and spent extra money just so the install could be done properly because I am a bit of an audio amateur, we'll just be honest. I'm not some audiophile crazy guy. I know how to wire and install stuff, but I know there's a lot of guys on here and a lot of guys on the internet that are wildly into car audio so i didn't want to look like a complete hack and an idiot um so we're going to do all of those things but um, i've had it in here for a few days now we've been playing it i went over to champion cooling systems uh, i demoed the sound system a little bit for uh, some of the employees and you know some of the people that are there my boy kane and fernando were in here and then kane of all people doesn't like loud music which is funny because i thought he would love loud music so i didn't really need to show it off to him but what i've noticed is We've got way more headroom on these components than I had on the sub. I don't have my gains and stuff set properly yet, so everything's not turned up to the max, but we'll get it loud enough in here that I know I'm not really banging on anything or hurting anything. And I've noticed that I had to get a little more gain on the low end to get it to keep up and fill the space properly with the components. So I basically dropped the ball. I reached back out to Kicker and I was like, you know, I'm impressed with this stuff. Um, I pretty much dropped the ball and I wasn't expecting this subwoofer to not keep up with the components. And with that being said, by not keeping up, I like bass. I'll be honest with you, because I would say that anybody else that would come in here would probably go, that's impressive, that's more than enough. But I'm also on the camp side. When you do car audio stuff, you, you can always turn it down. You can't turn it up. So keep that in mind. It's kind of like horsepower when you're drag racing, right? Same principle. You want more than you can use. So when you're out cruising and this thing's whipping wind and it's squeaking and rattling, because it does, because she's old, 
you can just give it a little doo doo on the knob and all that goes away. And then you're listening to things you want to hear versus things uh, you may not. So I want the extra headroom. And then also that extra headroom, that's where it becomes impressive, you know, because everybody can have stuff that's pretty loud. You want something that's just maybe a notch louder, but you still want it clean and clear. So that's what this is. This is my notch louder for the bass. I do have a bass knob. So we don't get beat down by both of these when we're just trying to motor as a family. My son's not sitting here <laughs> getting his feet and legs and arms rattled off by this little dude here. So, um, but again, when we're parked in an event, we want to bang on this thing and nobody's in here. And we want people to hear it outside. You need that headroom, right? Oh, it's all about horsepower. You always need more horsepower. So I'm going to get this thing opened up. Um, I believe we're going to slide it under the table here. I think that's going to be its home. I'm going to do a little bit of measuring because I'm hoping what I can do and I did some measuring that this folds down into a bed. So I'm hoping that I could tip this on its side if we need to make a bed, because technically it has to be under here, which I think we might not make the mark. In worst case, it's just gonna be a speaker wire run over in this area. So we could always unplug it and move it if I had to make a bed. So I was willing to make the sacrifice because I think that this is really gonna make the base in this thing uh, phenomenal. And then the other weird thing with acoustics, and maybe some of you guys can answer this, it's funny because I can get this whole system jamming. And if you come back here, I've got the two six and a halfs. We got these guys working as well. But if you stand right about here, when this hallway kind of necks down, I thought it would just be banging back here. But literally you get kind of past the fridge or whatever, for whatever reason, where how the acoustics work, when you get in this hallway, it all goes away. Like you can stand here and you can't even hear the sub. So it'd be interesting to see if throwing one underneath here um, will change that dynamic. So that'll be really interesting to me. I know there's scientific stuff. I'm sure there's microphones. I'm sure I can figure out why <laughs> that happens. I can't tell you why, but it's, and it's kind of a fun phenomenon anyway, because like if you go back here to go to the bathroom, at least you're not getting beat up on the way to go to the freaking restroom. And it's a fun one. Cause when people come in here, they're like, Oh wow, this is cool. And then you can be like, Hey, check this out. If you stand here, you can't hear stuff anymore. So, I don't know. It's all acoustics. There's obviously some noise canceling going on for whatever reason, but it is weird. So it'll be fun to see if plugging this one in to the system makes that go away, which would also be fun too, because then I could unplug it and then show people that. So it's just one more fun little gimmicky thing we can show people and have stuff to talk about when you guys see this thing. But um, you're going to have to take a lot of my opinion at face value um, if you dr trust, trust my judgment and my opinion, because the microphone's not going to be as friendly. Um, to what you actually get to experience when you are in here. But what I'd like to do is we will get some people that have never heard it. We'll have them get in here and then we'll bang on it. Um, like my wife has kind of heard it from the inside and she heard some of the stuff, but once we get this all lined out, we'll have to play some music and I'll turn it up and we'll just put the camera on her and this microphone can buzz or whatever, we'll fix that. But I just want to see like her reaction. We'll, we'll kind of do that to a few people too. So you can really see if people are impressed um, with it or not. So let me get this thing installed and we'll play with it a little bit and then uh, We'll bring it back. I want to be honest with you guys. Opening speakers like this never gets old. I could do this all day. They could steal the same one back up and I'd still open it and be excited. So um, here you go. Here's a look at it. If you ca didn't catch the other video, you got your little warning, all your little kicker stuff. You can call and get some help if you need it. Let's see if I can move that. Look, this stitching is awesome too. It looks phenomenal. So at least under the table, you'll be able to see that because that is really neat. And then I'll dig it out of here. I'm not going to try to do it one-handed. Um, it comes with all your information on here as well. Mounting feet, hardware, and then said subwoofer. And I'm going to utilize this. I still haven't, but we're going to put these mounting feet in to keep these things from kind of moving around uh, when we're motoring on down the road. So let me pull this out of here. I'll give you a look at it and then we'll kind of set it there and see how she looks. <laughs> So I ran the second sub. The cool thing is this has two outputs, right? But it's a mono block. So that is gonna be in parallel, which is gonna make these uh, two ohm instead of four ohm because there's two of them. So we ran underneath there. This is the original idea. Was have it facing the door, have it underneath there. But you can see it takes up a lot of footwell room. But let me show you guys what it sounds like. So we queued up YouTube friendly music. You can get the idea. I don't know if that's distorting the mic.
so it definitely projects better you can hear it but it does bring the bass more front and center right so let me extend this out and put it in the back and see what that sounds like because i think that may be the ticket it may keep it clean but just a little added bass from the back but you can hear it out here and we're not way up So, okay, let me pause it. So let me rearrange it. We'll push this one back to the back and then we'll put it dead center in the hallway and see how that kind of sounds. And then maybe we can tuck it in the caddy corner or whatever. So it's fun to just play around with it. I mean, that sounds great. If we get it, you know, more set on kill when I get my, you know, so we're not clipping this thing. I know, I mean, we're not all the way up for sure. And you can hear it out there way better. So. Having it there is going to be better for the party outside. Let's push it to the back and see if it'll still kind of make its way out the door. Same volume level. Uh, we've got it in the hallway now. I just ran the cable over to the amp. And we got the other one, old trusty, down there. So. Yeah, definitely with it on this side from back there you could hear it much better for whatever reason it's crazy it's got to be the shape back here is like a black sound black hole i think the sound bounces around just cancels itself out or maybe all the deadening or something but it is just even with the thing here let's slide it over and we'll give it another shot but I don't think it's gonna get any better. So let me push that over and we'll hit play again. Just out of curiosity. Let's see. Just out of curiosity. down the hallway it was like eh then you stick it in the corner and it's actually you can hear it more from kind of both sides so let's play it let's go outside and see same volume huh stuffing it in that corner seems to like it better How crazy is that? We're on a little smaller diameter wire too. We're on a 12. Um, I believe that's a 12 gauge. And then what is this? Maybe this is the 12 and then that's a little smaller. That's what I had, uh, 16, yeah. So that's probably killing some power in that guy back there. But acoustics, I know there's a lot to it. There's a lot of science. You can you know, fill me in as much as you know. I know there's other guys in here that know much more than I do, but how crazy is that? You know, just kind of moving placement around. Over here, it sounds good because it's loud. And then obviously we're on the thicker wire, so that helps. Um, but stuffing it back in the corner, you'd think that having it front and center, you'd hear it better, but maybe it's canceling it out. But then when you stuff it in the corner, it reverberates off of everything back there. So I don't know. I don't know the technical term. I'm sure Kicker would know why. To my layman ears, it sounds better stuffed in the corner, which is even better for me because I don't have to really mess with it, you know, pull it out or do anything with it. So 
I'll test a little bit more. I wanted to share and show you guys and show the kicker came through once again. Um, what we will do moving forward is I've got a request to test just components, just with the six by nines. Um, and then obviously you kind of heard a little bit with the subwoofers, but I want to get everything dialed in and get my gain set so we can crank this thing to where it goes wide open to really, I know that the mic isn't gonna sustain it, but I wanna have every all my ducks in a row and instead of showing you guys and then figuring something out later, like, oh, it sounds better like this. I wanna play with it a bit so it's to the best of my ability and then we can show it off and share it with you guys. So that's why I haven't jumped straight into testing stuff because um, we're still kind of working on it and tweaking it, but it does sound better and we're gonna have to get a little more juice over here and play with this thing and play some different tracks uh, that are not YouTube friendly so I can really listen to the difference and maybe plug it in and unplug it and kind of sit and see how much of a benefit that second subwoofer really brought to the party but it sounds good and like I said we're low volume I'm not trying to blow the mic out in this thing so hopefully it wasn't rattling or whatever but we'll sit in here sweat because it's like a hundred and I'm gonna play with this for a little bit just like a kid in the candy store you guys know what to do like subscribe share till next time I'm out